Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Dirty Dave and I got another map guide for you guys. This time we're going to be taking Mining Room and Fireplace on Cafe, aka Train Museum for those who play secure the area. As you guys already know, these strats are composed of high level strats I see in the Diamond and Platinum rings and what I see in Pro League. So definitely a lot of things to learn, a lot of tricks to see, and you guys will get a little glimpse of how high level players attack this site. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe. And other than that, let's get right into the video. Oh, uh, you might have dropped Hatch. Hatch is open. He dropped Hatch. Oh, no, he's in there. He's dead, he's dead. Starting with the team composition, for a hard breacher, you can go Habana or Thermite. The only thing you need to hit is the Hatch and Cigar Lounge which they both do perfectly fine, but I like Habana more. For our second pick, you're going to need Overwatch, so you can go Blackbeard or Glaz. They both work perfectly fine, but in this case, I like Blackbeard more. For our third pick, our Soft Breacher, your preference between Buck and Sledge. I like Buck more, but if you like Sledge, that's perfectly fine. For our fourth pick, we're going to need someone with Smokes, and that can wreak havoc and train, which can be Fuse or Capital. For our final pick, Lion is OP, but he's going to get nerfed pretty soon. The thing is, you don't really need a lot like someone that uh, specifies in Rome Clear because the top floor in Cafe is like the smallest out of any of the maps, so it's not that hard to uh, Rome Clear, especially with the Skylight. But you can go Blitz if they're roaming hard. Ash is a solid pick, but I really like Ying, since you're going to have to drop the hatch in Train Museum, and she's the best one at that. She can smoke the crossfire, flash the room, GG to the anchors. Now, if you can't decide between Fuse and Capital, if these guys are roamer heavy, chances are they're gonna jump out of like windows and Capital has a claymore for that. And also Fuse is kind of vulnerable to roamer since he when he puts down his thingy, his cluster charge, he's vulnerable. Capital is not. So if they're roamers, Capital, if not Fuse. So I'm gonna go Buck for his destruction, spawn or oh, actually spawn river docks and start the timer. Let's get right to it, boys. So, I'm going to go over the spawns real quick. Honestly, they're all the same amount of safe. They're all vulnerable to peaks. But, I like spawning River Docks because I have a nice quick peak. But, I think the majority of your team should spawn Christmas because you want to clear out the piano or cigar lounge. Same room. So, I like to spawn River Docks because I have this nice angle at the start. So, I rush up over here to this window. Repel. You're gonna want to break the top right, and then r right here you have an angle into. So right there, that's train room. This is oil room where the bomb is, one of the bombs, and you can shoot them right there. But you don't want to repel there for long since you'll get shot through the barricade. So I'm gonna go with the angles first, and then I'll talk about the push. And the push is pretty simple, but I like to show the angles first. Okay, the hatch. So, I like to blow this up because sometimes there's someone hiding right there and you can shoot them. And then obviously, look down the hatch. You can look down to the bottom of the stairs. Right there, look down. And then skylight, same thing. Make sure you check your skylight, check your freezer. You can look on the second floor, to the second floor lobby. And then, I'm going to show you guys this real, real quick if you don't know it. So right here, along to that, right here, you can kind of get a different angle, safer angle. So sometimes people like to run out that door. You can get an angle on them. So that's that. Okay, so coming to Cigar, this is where you're going to be your destruction to be at, creating your angles. So I like to run down here, and then you can shoot the roamers. Make sure your team drones out first, so if, they're, if you know they're behind the piano or something. Oh, not that. You can hide behind this, throw a grenade, whatever, throw a grenade anywhere. And make sure you drone out for that, but let's go over angles real quick. So right here, in the beach, so right here, this is a popular mirror spot right there. And you can just shoot them from above. Kill them. Easy. Next up, the other corner. So come from the back. 
Bam, shoot the mirror, they got it. Shoot the guy in the corner. So that's pretty solid. And if someone's in train, you can get them with the same angle right here. So pretty solid, but if you want a better one, I guess a little closer up. Right there at the stairs. If someone's in the middle train, right here, pretty solid. And then if you're gonna plant in uh, oil, so this room below me, you should be planting like right there. And from here, from above, you can create an angle to watch the bomb from above. So that's pretty solid. You cannot uh, fireplace or dining hall. I think. Come on, hatch. So that room. So people call it fireplace because this looks like a fireplace. I think it's even called that actually. Yeah, fireplace. Well, people call it dining room as well because this is a freaking dining table. A fireplace as well. So you have that. So right there where I showed you guys for this. This is all the destruction you need. That's why I like Buck. He makes it easier and you don't need that much destruction. You can get angles once you open the hatch. You, you can get angles anywhere. So you're pretty solid. But going for the room clear, you can definitely breach this wall into freezer. Hop in. And then at the angles, sometimes people can be hiding behind the bars. So you can go either way. And push the guys out the rumors out and then obviously get your hatches usually they're not gonna reinforce them oh come on okay I need to save my last one but you can get that hatch as well I wouldn't drop that hatch maybe like in a specific scenario so with Habana and thermite once they get hatched the only thing they have left to get is this wall right here so I was just making I think you would apply I guess that is fine right there. Where would you wanna if you get an angle? Yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe right there as well. Habana. Yeah, I'll okay, get there for your Habana and you just want an angle just right here left the middle. But I guess I'll go to that too when I talk about the strat. So yeah, that's about it for the angles honestly. So going over the strats, you're gonna have what we're taking we're taking Habana, Blackbeard, Buck. Let's say Capital, Capital Fuse doesn't matter, and Ying. Okay, so me as Buck, I'll be like the only one spawning over there, doing what I showed you guys, get that angle from that reading room. The rest of your team spawn here, so everyone else. Blackbeard is obviously you can get this angle onto OBJ, shoot the people, whatever. And then you can put a claymore right here for the run out. So Habana can, Capital can. Yeah, those would be like the only two. Put a run out, claymore for that run out. And then when you guys go to clear, so everyone else is gonna repel to the rooftop because you gotta do roam clear. So even Buck as well. And Blackbeard is gonna be the only one on the window and below. So Buck is gonna do this, open the hatch, make this hole into the wall. Habana is going to be on Skylight, and then Capital and Ying, they can be repelling, or they can be down, they can hop, drop the hatch. So me as Buck, I drop the hatch, and then Capital and Ying can drop the hatch as well. Or they can uh, replace Blackbeard real quick, so they can be down there and then have Blackbeard repel on Cigar Window, which would probably be the better thing, but you really need coordination. So Blackbeard repel on this window. And we do is roam clear. So I guess usually as Buck, I, he's kind of like an entry fagger, and that's what I play. So I usually roll up through here and shoot the people. So if you have Ying replacing Capital, will be the one droning. Capital and Habana. Habana is gonna be on skylight, cutting off this rotation. So from here, she can see all of this. Get it some angles over on this side. Get some angles into freezer, so she's cutting off right here, so you don't have to worry about that. And all you have to do is push through here. That's why Buck can make this hole, Vault Boy, make this hole, and then so then he only has to worry about them rotating to white stairs, so he can cut them off here, shoot them. Obviously, definitely people drone them out. Once you cut this out, you're pretty solid. That's when you can make your destruction, blow up here. Habana can jump down skylight, hit this hatch, 
Buck, make his holes. Fuse, fuse the room. Capital, shoot his fire bolts into train if you can get an angle on them. So you can shoot his fire bolts. And then where you want to... So we got fuse. Black beards can be staying on the window. Fuse up here. Buck up here. Ying, drop hatch. Or you can only have fuse or capital. So Bana, hatch. Who's going to have bomb? Honestly, anyone can have bomb. Ying can have bomb if she's going to drop hatch. So you can go either one, honestly. I think most people like to plant in this room because it's kind of more like secure the area. But in Pro League, they like to plant. Like most recently, Pro's have been planting here. Um, I think this is kind of better. Well, this is better in a way because it's harder for the retake. But you can get C4 from below, but people don't really play that. But you can go right here since this is where you have your black beard to cover you. Like I said, you can make that hole from above. So that's pretty solid. Um, yeah, black beard plant here, smoke it out. And then easy piece of cake from there. So I'm going to go to the next one and show you guys some drone spots. And we'll end the video. Alright, so for drone spots, I'm going to show you guys a couple of them, some pretty nice ones. So right here, if you want to get a view onto pillars or like second floor lobby, you can get a drone right here. Pretty nice. Good view. Like useful. It's alright, but I like it. It's pretty neat. So you can't really have a drone in here. Well, there's no really nice spot than just like probably hide it under a chair or something, but... You can hop in here as well. But I got a nice one in Cigar. So over here, jump onto this little table. And then you get jump onto these shelves. Good view. See majority of Cigar Lounge. Solid cam. Now I got a good one in OBJ. One I really like. And you see majority of OBJ with it. So right here. Well, this is an OBJ, but it's a key room where people like to anchor. So you hop on this. Make sure you don't break the glass. Hop on the edges. You can hop into the middle train. And then from here, if you aim above the lamp, you can hop right there. Pretty solid. And this is my favorite drone spot for this objective. Right here, you see majority of the room, see middle train. Good view of anchors. Another way to get on here is hopping on this trash can. This is how I usually do it. Hop right there. And then you get on top. And then get in the same corner. And then right here for your second jump, you want to land like above this headlight. So you can't do it from here. That's how you need to get on the trash can. What about here? No, you can't. Yeah. So definitely go to the trash can. Now that's about it for dining hall or fireplace. There's no really good drone spots. I think like I forgot how you get up there, but even then it's not that useful. It's small room, easy drone. So this final drone spot, it's not useful for this site, but if you guys are ever attacking kitchen, this is a freaking awesome drone spot that I want to show you guys, and I'm pretty proud of it. So right here. So you're going to want to face this wall and you're going to jump on top of these wide tiles. So there's like a little edge that clips out. And it's kind of hard to get on. Okay, I got onto it. So right here. So you can kind of see. I want to jump in there. You're going to jump on top of these cabinets. And right here, pretty nice drone spot. And one of my favorites to use here on Cafe. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you want more Dirty Dave, please subscribe. Till then, see you guys next time.